A. Let's have a look at a scenario. You're an Atlassian consultant. You've just migrated a customer from on-premise Jira to Jira Cloud. And the customer says, fantastic, only one outstanding item. We used to have a validator that prevented us from moving Jira issues to done if they exceeded their estimate by more than 10%. And the answer is, well, there's lots of apps on the marketplace that allow you to do this. Let's install one of those apps. And the customer says, well, look, I've got 4,000 users. This is all I need. I don't need anything else. I don't need these apps. I just need a really simple solution, a little bit of scripting. Surely you can do that. So your answer is, yes, we can do that with a Forge app. What we're going to do here is we're going to create the Forge app in real time. I'm going to do a little bit of speed coding here. If you really want to learn how to do this, have a look in the description of this video where there's a link to my course, my Forge course, which gives you this and all the other different things that you can do with Atlassian Forge. So let's create it. Forge create. That's what we're going to start with. And we're going to create a compliance validator. Fantastic. And it is going to be for Jira. And it is going to be a workflow validator. There's a template here already. We're going to use this template for this little app. It's now created it. And I'll open this in Visual Studio Code. And there's two things I need to do. First of all, I need a validator that is able to check some JIRA information. In order to be able to check some JIRA information, I need to get, give myself the permission to do that. So it's permissions, scopes. And the scope we need is read JIRA work. We don't need to make any changes. We just need to be able to read it. Fantastic. Second thing is Forge has already created a little template here for me for a function that now implements this workflow validator. But I need to get information from the um, API. So what I need to do is I go into compliance validator and I say npm install at Forge API. And once I've done that, I can start using the Forge API to get information out of JIRA. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to import it. We're going to say import API. And I also know that I'm going to need root from Forge API. Lovely, great. So we want to make API calls. I know that I need an asynchronous function to be able to do that. Just trust me on that. And Forge can cope with this being an asynchronous function. So I'm going to make that API call. API as app. Request Jira. Root. Rest API. Three. Issue. And I need the issue key. Which is actually passed in to this function by Jira. Fantastic. And I'm actually going to use this response data. So we're going to say const response equal to await. We don't want the promise. We want the actual data. So we're going to wait for it with await. And then we're going to say const data. Again, we don't want the promise. We want the actual data. We want the JSON response that we get back from that API call. Fantastic. We have some data. Now, what we want to do is we want to calculate have we overrun by more than 10%. So we need some sort of overrun percentage variable. And we want to check the difference between the time spent and the original estimate. So let's say data.fields.time spent minus data.fields.time original estimate. That's well, great. Now I've got the difference. That's still not a percentage, is it? So we want this to be relative to data.fields.time original estimate. So now I've got a fraction, still not a percentage. Let's make it a percentage. So we're going to say times 100. Now we have a percentage. Right. That's great. 
Now, let's say if over on percentage greater equals 10, then we give an error message. We already have an error message here prepared in the template, which is great. Not the message we wanted, issue, issue key. Let's say exceeds its estimate by more than 10%. And let's give him the actual value. The actual value is dollar over on percentage. Right, and let's put a percent sign on the end as well, just so that it looks good. Brilliant. So we've done this back in here, forge deploy. We're now deploying this to Forge's development environment in the Atlassian servers. You don't have to run this. Atlassian run this for you in the Atlassian servers. And that's why we're deploying this now. And then in a minute, we're going to use a nice little tool, Forge Tunnel, which is fantastic for developing. All of this is explained much better in my Forge course, where you can learn all the details around this. So it's deployed. We're going to Forge install this in my development environment first, which is a Jira. Yes, please install it. And then I will tunnel, forge tunnel. Fantastic. So in my Jira, here's one I prepared earlier. I now have my forge app installed. So let's have a look at the apps. And once it's loaded that, it will show you the forge app that we've literally just written. Compliance validator. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my project. And here's a project. And I'm going to add the validator to my workflow. So let's go to the project settings. Workflows. Let's edit that workflow. Right, let's do it in diagram mode. Maybe a little bit simpler. And here, that's the transition from all other states to done. What I'm going to do is that transition, we want to add a validator. And where's our validator? So we say add validator and there it is compliance validator in development. Fantastic. I've added this. Let's now publish this draft. I don't need a backup copy. I just need it published. Fantastic. So go back to my project. I have an issue here. There's an issue here exceeds estimate that exceeds the estimate. So I had the original estimate was one hour, one day, six hours, and I've logged two hours. So let's see what it does. I pull it across and it says issue test one exceeds its estimate. I do apologize for the grammar mistake that we're going to fix that. In fact, let's do it straight away. Exceeds its estimate. Lovely, and we'll do it again. Let's see what happens this time. There, issue test one exceeds its estimate by more than 10%. Actual value is, wow, that's too many decimal, too many digits after the decimal point. Let's fix that as well. So we're going to say overrun percentage equals overrun percentage dot two fixed. We just want two, maybe. That should do the job, shouldn't it? Lovely. Let's try this again. Let's try and move it. And it says issue test one exceeds its estimate by more than 10%. Actual value is 14.29%. And this is it. This is how you do it. Bit of speed coding here. But this demonstrates what you can do with Forge in a very, very small amount of time with very little effort. Have a look in the description of this video for a link to my full Forge course, which gives you this and all the other things that you can do with Atlassian Forge.